Okay, here we go. Uh, panel's still wet. I'm going to dry this panel off. Mostly dried. Let's go hit this wrap remover again. And uh, I used before. I used this red side of the towel. I'm gonna use the, the. I mean the applicator. I'm gonna use this black side. There's no water in this. This is a, a fiber auto fiber saver towel. Uh, sorry, I don't know if I was getting that on camera or not. But here you go. Wrap remover uh, onto the applicator. And uh, this in. Water must have reacted with it before because I don't see those white streaks. Uh, so it must have been the water that was doing that. So maybe, maybe it diluted it down a little bit. So let's see how this one goes. And uh, I got 55 uh, seconds. Now it's 58. So let's give it a full minute and see what happens. Put the cap off, get back on this. So in the meantime, I'll just talk to you about the, this coating. Um, this coating I have on here on the right, uh, I um, had a chemist lab um, design it uh, for me, uh, for me specifically to be extremely chemically resistant. Um, and uh, from the ground up, I was uh, directly involved with um, the development of the coating uh, from the very get-go. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but it's starting to dry on the surface. The sun is just drying it right on the surface. So I guess this is a good extreme test. I'm sure most of you guys won't be doing this in your shops. Uh, however, you know, hey, let's let's go test the extreme so that way we know how far we can push the envelope, right? And uh, so anyway, so this coating on the right, I designed it to be as chemically resistant as possible from pH 2 to pH 12. I've tested it extensively. I've done over 60 pH 12 washes uh, on the right side, contact washes. So washed it with pH 12 optimum power clean, uh, rinsed it off, dried it, washed it, rinsed it, dried it over 60 times with no breakdown of the hydrophobics at all. And I also went with Pearl Nano Water Spot Killer, which is uh, pH 2. And uh, that's this product right over here in a different bottle than they sell it in. Uh, but it's pH 2. This product, Water Spot Killer, has literally destroyed every coating that I put it on. If a car comes in here with a coating that has water spots and I use that product to remove them, uh, all the hydrophobics are gone. Every single coating that I've ever tried, which is a lot of them, and the guys that know me know I test a lot of things. Not everything gets wound up on camera, but a lot of things get tested by me, and I love trashing coatings. So. Uh, I designed it to be chemically resistant. I did over 20 washes with the water spot killer um, to make sure that it's uh, resistant to the acid. I'm sorry, here comes a dump truck, of course, right in the middle of my video. But anyway, um, it has now been over a minute. And let's uh, see how this thing goes. Once again, painfully obvious that there is no breakdown at all in the hydrophobics of this coating. Zero. Uncoated side, which is just the X coat, which is a hand applied clear coat, a 2K clear coat hand applied. Reacting exactly the same. As it did before. My camera moved a little bit. Here we go. Sorry, my pressure washer always gives me this problem. See some sheeting over there? And nothing but beads on this side. Pearl Nano X for the win.